Good afternoon, everyone. This is Meg at Chasing Retro. I am so glad that you guys joined me today. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Um, I wanted to bring you along as I sort through and organize the things that I have set aside for the Mary Poppins journals, which is what I'm working on next. Uh, I went ahead and made three of the four covers, probably, I don't know, maybe two months ago. And then I really don't remember why. <laughs> I think I was just between projects and board and wanted to start something, but um, knew that I wouldn't get to these for a while, but just had everything out. So I said, why not just go ahead and make the covers. So uh, I've made two soft cover covers using a bubble mailer. And then I had a hardback children's book of Mary Poppins that I think I got off thriftbooks.com and I turned that into a hardback journal cover and then Carol at Lily Rose Blue sent me a I guess a junior novel of the movie and that was so generous of her to do that so uh, this past weekend I ended up making the cover using that so I will have four Mary Poppins journals total. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep one for myself, though I love the movie. I have to stop holding on to so many journals. I need to start being a little more picky about which ones I make for myself because <laughs> I cannot write in all of these journals. So, I mean, I could, but it would take me 10 years. Um, so I really would like to put all of these up for sale. Um, um, as usual, I don't think I'm going to reserve any or custom order any as of right now, just because my schedule is not allowing me to do that. But um, as usual, I will give you way advance notice before I list them in my shop. It'll probably be another week and a half, two weeks on these. Um, so let me show you the covers real quick. This is some material that I found at ReCraft, the little craft reuse store near me. Or not near me, it's about an hour away, but when I saw it, I just said, oh my goodness, this looks like Mary Poppins. These are the colors that I hope to use. I'm probably gonna bring in some red as well because I will be using the, I think it's Echo Park paper pad that, or the paper pack that goes with Mary Poppins. Um, their version of Mary Poppins. It's not Disney. It's their loosely based on the Disney movie. And there is some red in that kit. But I wanted the covers to mainly be pinks, blues, yellows, light greens, and a little bit of goldish tan. So this is one of the uh, bubble mailer envelope covers. And I've used this really pretty lace that I was sent in Happy Mail a while back and then this I don't really don't know what this is made of it looks like raw silk but it's thinner than that and it has a it has no slubs so I don't think it's silk it's just a polyester blend ribbon with a shredded edge and then this I think is called more uh, it's a cotton but it's made to look like it has watermarks on it and it's a dark mauve which I thought went well with those flowers there. Um, Y'all, excuse my voice. It's kind of wavery. I'm getting over a uh, head cold that the kids and I all had over the last week and a half. So um, my voice was almost gone two days ago. So I'm very thankful that it decided to stick around. I was resting it. This is the second one and it's identical except for the fact that it has an eyelet sewn in pocket here. I think what I'm going to do for the covers of these is do a frame and put Mary Poppins in the frame, but I want it to kind of, instead of a frame, I want it to be like a framed mirror, like a mirror image of her. I don't know. You know how she carries the mirror in her bag and hangs it up in the nursery. So I had these frames from Timu. And I had hoped to use these, but of course, like many things with Timu, when it arrived, I was like, oh, that's like one third of the size that I was thinking. I'm just not really good at estimating centimeters in my head, and I didn't have my ruler when I ordered them. 
These, however, will make adorable toppers for small journals, like maybe if I make another series of those travel cereal box journals, I would love to do that. These would be perfect for that, but they are too small unless I built up something around it, but I really could not find in my ephemera that I've gathered, I couldn't find any pictures of Mary Poppins that were big enough to fit, like even this. You have part of her, but it doesn't tell the whole story. I mean, she's nothing without her umbrella, really. She's just a lady. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, we're gonna think of something else. You're probably screaming at me right now, but what about the pink and blue one in the bottom of that box, you know? That would be perfect, would it not? That's what I had intended these to be when I made them. Uh, my son actually printed these on his 3D printer, and then I painted them, and then I shellacked them. Um, you may ask, why can't you use this? Well, the image or the digital printing file is not his person. He didn't make it. He got it for free, and it's non-commercial use. So, I could use this on a personal journal that I keep, but I cannot sell it. Sad, sad. Uh, maybe one day when he has time which he doesn't have a lot of because he's in college, <laughs> but he maybe can make a file of his own and I can print them and sell them, put them on journals to sell. But for right now, I can't. Isn't this one pretty too? The blue? Unfortunately, with 3D printers, you can see the lines a little bit. I've got four coats of paint on here and shellac and you can still see them, but Still, I think it would be really pretty. So maybe one day. But I think I'm going to sort of do my own version of that with paper. I have found some digital images of frames and I think I'm going to print those, put those on cardboard and raise them up and make them substantial. Maybe use some gilding gold gilding paste or something and try to make them elegant without them being the ones that I really hope to use. That was a long explanation for something that is doesn't really matter right now. <laughs> Here is the children's book that I ordered from Thrift Books. It is just a Whitman's Top Tales, Top Top Tales, which I guess is their next size up from the tiny ones. And I used the same fabric on the spine. I decided to make this one only, it may only be an inch. Yes, it's an inch wide spine. Um, but I will be doing two smaller signatures on this one. I haven't done this before. Usually I do one and a half as a standard, but I wanted to make this a little smaller. Now, those are the the more modestly sized ones. This one right here is going to be the the hefty one. This is a full two inch spine. This is the book that Carol sent me, and I have had, I have been holding on to this little piece of calico that I got at a quilter sale for a long time. And when I held it up to the cover, the pink is the same, the red is the same, and that purple is identical to these words. I was like. This is what you were made for. So this is exciting. <clears throat> it was just one strip I had of this cloth, so it was meant to be. Uh, I left the inside as is. I probably will not even put pockets here because that would cover up these Marys over here. So the inside will stay as is. I'll probably make up for that by maybe putting a bull, is it a bulldog clip on the edge or on the top to let you put your, you know, library card or whatever you like to put in the front. This had a little bit of writing, but I was able to erase it. <clears throat> it's hardly noticeable now, but it's just adorable. I love it so much. So there'll be two, one signature, one small two signature, and one either three or four signature. Probably four, but maybe three. Sometimes I don't decide that until I'm in the midst of it. Okay. <clears throat> I have started pulling some papers in the colors that I'd like to use. These are just papers from my stash. I'm, I'm doing, I meant to grab three of these. I'm doing some yellow uh, legal pad papers. 
this, I found this at an estate sale. It was a whole ream, or almost a whole ream of this beautiful mauve. And it was a pastor, a pastor's house. And he had a lot of, evidently I was, I got there too late, but he evidently printed the church bulletins and everything in his house because I also bought a guillotine paper cutter. And the only color of paper that was left was this, which I was happy with, but Evidently, there was there was a lot more before I arrived. But yeah, this is just, I don't ever see this shade really in scrapbooking paper, much less printer paper. And it's, it's old. It looks like the box is like from the 80s or 70s maybe. So those are just a couple of the sheets I have pulled from that. Let me pull the folder over here and show you the other. I'm being klutzy today. The, this is the Mary Poppins folder that I have been accruing for several months. And this is just a list of all the things that are mentioned in the book or the movie. Um, I actually watched the movie on Monday night to sort of get psyched up about it. And I had forgotten some things that were in the movie that I'm going to try to incorporate. I have, I think, two of these. Where's the other one? I am almost positive. Yep. So I have two of these. Well, actually three if you count the one on the back. These are some, this is a box of tea that is British, of course, and the colors were perfect. And I thought, you know what? We could probably figure out how to make this into something. So I held on to this for a long time. And then I have a page for my bird book with the robin because she sings about mother robin these are all the image pages out of the book that carol sent me i just went ahead and tore them out and i will be also tearing or cutting quotes from the book out of that you know the pages that are left with just the words there's mostly black and white i'm thinking about tinting them not entirely sure yet I might leave them black and white and just put them on a very colorful background. Uh, the There were a few color two-page spreads like this one. Um, <laughs> this scene. My husband watched the last half of the movie and he said he had no recollection of this scene at all. And I was like, well, when you're a kid, your attention span is less. So I bet a lot of kids started out watching the movie and then went and found something else more interesting. So I'm pretty sure that's a common thing with kids. I know mine did that. They were, as they got older, they were like, I didn't know this was in the movie. And I'm like, that's because you didn't sit down long enough to watch the whole movie. So I think that's pretty common. Um, this is another two page spread and the colors are just ideal for what I'm hoping to do with these. This uh, neighbor is a hoot. I love him. He's one of my favorite characters. Okay, I think this book, I don't know if you noticed this, Carol. I think this book, you know how sometimes they'll put in an extra signature by mistake? Because I have some pages in here that repeat. Like I've got two of the same image. Not complaining. It's like it was made for me because I need to spread things out among some journals. But I thought that was pretty cool. Here's another two-page spread. This is when the wind blows all of the other nannies away. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Uh, this, so a viewer and friend named Nat sent me, oh my goodness, where did it go? My fabric. It was sitting here. I don't know where it is. I have some Mary Poppins fabric, and it is gone. I showed it to y'all when she sent... Here it is, here it is, here it is. So sorry. This is the fabric that she sent me. She lives in the UK, so this is from a Disney store in the UK, and I will be using these in the, the books, of course. There's the penguins and a lovely teal green and a stripe with the penguins again. And I saved a little tag from it, so I'll probably make this into a tag. <clears throat> I have these two little stickers with robins in the nest. 
And then I have a postcard from London. I think I got this at an antique store. And then, of course, I just dropped a sticker. Another Robin sticker. And then this is, uh, you know, the tea party scene is the laughing scene. And it's very small in the movie, but I'm going to really play up the tea theme big because it's about the UK. So I've got a lot of images of tea and teapots and teacups, digital things that I'll print too. These are all from, I don't remember the names of the series. It is a very old book series, probably late 1940s and mostly black and white. The pages are super glossy, but there are a few color, like the tinted color photographs. So I'll be using these. Aren't they lovely? Uh, yeah, just lots of Kensington Gardens, Westminster Abbey. Falgar Square, St. Paul's Cathedral. So this is where the Feed the Birds scene was. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, just fun stuff. Um, that'll be fun to incorporate. And then this is from the, like the Walt Disney's, it's like a set of four. Uh, Walt Disney storybooks and one of them is Tales from Other Lands, I think, and that's what this was in. Here it is right in front of my face. Story from Other Lands. Um, and so I just grabbed the pages that were Mary Poppins themed. There's little kids running out of the bank. This looks a lot like the real character, I thought. The kids, not so much, but there's the bird lady. I'm also going to incorporate some carousel horses. Those are actually not easy to find, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm still looking. I love this picture. I'm probably going to have to break this in two to fit it, unless I use it as a whole. No, the back of it's not very good, but I love it. I love it so much. The, these are the book pages from this book. So I'll be distributing these equally. And then the ones that I don't want to use as a page, I probably will use most of them as just pages. I may cut some things out of, like I may end up having to use some of these as my framed image on the front. Not sure yet. I don't think she looks terribly like Julie Andrews, but th these are gonna be about the book and the movie, so it doesn't always have to be. Julie Andrews, you know what I'm saying? Someone sent this to me in Happy Mail, so I will be using it, of course, in these. And then some more music pages are here. I have, these are from a Disney songbook that I have. And they're lovely as well. Step in Time. Oh, this is just a picture of a robin that I found in an uh, Ideals magazine. Spoonful of sugar. And then the songbook has a few color pictures. That might be a fun one to put on the cover. Yeah, lots of song sheets. It is a very singable movie. It's hard not to sing along when you're watching it, just like Sound of Music. And then here is a Get Well card with some robins. And here's a bird or a cherry tree with a bird house or a bird feeder. So I'll use that. And here's a robin with the blossoms. Here's St. Paul's. These are from an a Golden Book Encyclopedia. I have two more postcards. I don't know if I have four or not. I hope I do. A little robin that I cut out of something. This is from Ideals, isn't that lovely? This is from Ideals and it just looks like the little area where Mary Poppins sits in the nursery and does her knitting or whatever she does. 
I just love it. Another cathedral, bird's nest. Okay, so you might remember that I did order a paper pack from Timu, and some of you shared with me that it's it was basically a copycat of the Cartabella, or I'm not sure if it's Cartabella or the other brand, Echo Park. So because of that, I felt really bad um, about having, I guess, a pirated copy. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why I decided to order the 12 by 12 from the actual company who designed it. But I'll still be using these in the journals. They're uh, eight by eight, I think. Most, I mean, most of the colors are gonna go well with what I have chosen. I love the kites page. <clears throat> I love those, they're like little thistles, I think. Butterflies, I'll probably incorporate some butterflies too. There are a lot of animals in that movie. I had forgotten that. I, rem I forgot about the fox hunt and all of those things when, when I was watching it. This is just from a fly page of one of the Disney books. Uh, this is a... T I couldn't find any pictures of fireplaces, chimneys, rooftops, anything like that. Anything like that, but I did find this. So, I'm going to use that. This is a map page. This is an instructions on how to make a kite. Oh, one more sheet from that kit. Um, the dollhouse that's in the nursery was one of my favorite things growing up because I loved dollhouses. And I found this ad in a hobby catalog. Little birds, look at this precious little bird. <laughs> Here's some tea. That's probably coffee, but we're gonna pretend like it's tea. And here's cherries for the cherry tree lane. And both of these images look like Mary Poppins to me, so I'll be doing that. London Bridge. This is from a children's nursery rhyme book, and it's the Oranges and Lemons song, I think. The song about all the bells singing in all the cathedrals. I used to know that song by heart because it was on a record I had. Yay, I have more postcards. I couldn't remember if I did or not. I do. Lovely. This one has writing. This is Royal Botanic Gardens. Very nice. Oh, I have a lot of stamps here. This is... Um, we all know Big Ben, but what is this? I can't remember. Britannia Hotel Manchester. It just looks very royal to me and elegant, so it'll probably go in here. Some more of the fly page images. This is a die cut. I'm going to say it's Cherry Tree Lane. And a long time ago, probably two or three months ago, I made some ephemera using a gravy box that I had. So this is... This is the three items that I made. I put a little cherry uh, faux wax stamp on the back. I wish I had stamped that instead of handwritten it, but that's okay, that too. Oh yeah, the back has the lace pattern paper. And then here's all the stamps from the UK. And then here's another carousel horse. And a cherry recipe, I thought that'd be fun to add. Uh, this is from one of my favorite stories as a kid, Nonsense Alphabet. It's not a story, I guess. It's a poem. And this is, it goes with tea, and this is in the movie, in the book. So, I'll probably use this as an actual page. These are just little tin soldiers, and it reminded me of what you would find in the nursery. So, I will probably color and cut these out. That'll be fun. <laughs> And then here's some more soldiers that was in the book called Sally Go Round the Sun. And I just love the colors. And see the smoke is made with fingerprints. <laughs> so um, as you can see, I don't have nearly as much as I wish I did to put in four journals, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna stretch it, I'm gonna make it work. 
I have some tricks up my sleeve of different things that I can use for pages. I have some dyed papers. <clears throat> I have some really pretty digital papers that I have saved in a folder on my computer that I will use. And I think these will be fun and exciting to make. I just love this movie. It makes me happy. Let me know what you guys are currently working on. Are you wrapping up a project? Are you about to start on a new one? I would love to hear. Um, part of the fun is just hearing what everybody's doing right now. I think a lot of us are doing Christmas or moving toward that. I haven't even thought about that yet. I can't believe it's almost the middle of October, but I'm just going to keep on with what I'm doing. If I get a Christmas journal made, great. If not, that's fine. But I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll talk to you next time.